We introduce the first study of minority inclusion in generative models. We formalize the task of minority inclusion as to improve mode coverage in general, and then with a specific focus on minority subgroups. We present inclusive GAN, a simple yet effective pipeline to improve data and minority coverage by harmonizing between adversarial training and reconstructive generation. Generative adversarial networks have brought about rapid progress towards generating photorealistic images. When we trace back through the past six years, we witnessed the revolutionary progress from low-quality, low-resolution generation to artifact-free, high-resolution one. The evolution was happening even faster in the past two years for general image generation. Here are more results when generated images are transiting smoothly from one appearance to another. But when we zoom in our attention to local features, we may notice some attributes are not that commonly represented. For example, dark skin, eyeglasses, bold hats, so on and so forth. Some attributes are typically associated with a certain subgroup. For example, eyeglasses more likely for senior people and bold for males. If we look at the reconstructions from a well-trained generator in order to see its capabilities to generate such attributes, sometimes the results do not reflect those appearances correctly. Here are more failure cases of the state-of-the-art GAN technique for some finer attributes like narrow eyes and eye bags. This is so-called mode collapse in generative models. A certain set of attributes are poorly memorized and generated by a well-trained generator, while such attributes may be highly correlated with a certain subgroup of population. However, the fair allocation of GAN performance among data subgroups has received little attention, which could lead to potential biases against minorities. In the left bar plot, each bar represents one binary facial attribute, for example, gender, bold or not. The height of each bar indicates the number of training images with a positive annotation of such attribute. I highlight the four example attributes from the last slide and we can see their frequencies are far less than the 50% balanced point. In the right bar plot, the height of each bar indicates the appearance diversity of each attribute and three of the four example attributes are in the high diversity region. I show here a 3D plot of a joint relation. So in the horizontal plane, the location of each bar indicates the scarcity and the diversity of each attribute. The bars in the far behind the corner are underrepresented minority attributes. The height of each bar shows the reconstruction error of each attribute given a well-trained generator. So together, the scarcity and the diversity of training samples of these attributes lead to their poor generation or so-called collapsed modes. This also shows the biased data leads to biased models. Let's first zoom into the very detail of GAN training iterations and see how mode collapse happens. In this diagram, the red squares are real training data and the blue dots are generated samples. The discriminator is simplified as piecewise linear separation boundaries. After one iteration of generator training, all the generated samples are pushed towards some real data by crossing over the discriminator boundaries. Then we update the discriminator and keep training the generator alternatively. So on and so forth for many iterations alternating between generator and the discriminator training. Finally, the purple region shows some real data that are not approximated by any generated samples, which are called collapsed modes. Those modes correspond to minority attributes, which are scarce and diverse. It leads to the generation bias against these minority attributes. Why it happens? GAN only cares about making each generated sample similar to some real data, while GAN does not care about whether or not its real data is similar to some generated sample. Our method is proposed to compensate this downside of GAN by harmonizing adversarial and reconstructive generative models together and combining benefits of both. Adversarial models generate realistic results, while reconstructive models guarantee data coverage. So we reason from the reconstructive training side, typically based on implicit maximum likelihood estimation, IMLI, to see how mode coverage is guaranteed. Again, in this diagram, red squares are real training data, while blue dots are generated samples. 
Imli iterates between two phases. First, given a fixed generator for each real data, we find for the nearest generated sample. Then we pull the nearest sample towards real data by updating the generator given the data nearest sample pairs. We keep doing this for all real data and iterating many times between nearest neighbor search and the generator training. It is theoretically guaranteed complete mode coverage in Imli because we ensure each real data pulls a generated sample towards it. That inspires our pipeline to jointly train GAN and Imli end-to-end, -end, again, to pursue the trade-off between generation realism and mode coverage. However, the combination of the two models are non-trivial. Imli reconstructive loss is sparsely supported, while GAN adversarial loss is densely sampled. We therefore propose to use interpolation-based augmentation to Imli to bridge the sampling gap of the two models. On the other hand, Imli reconstructive loss backpropagates from shallow pixel loss, while GAN adversarial loss backpropagates from deep discriminator loss. We therefore propose to use deep distance metric in reconstruction to harmonize the incompatibility of the two losses. According to our investigation, we found LPIF's metric is the most effective one. Once we can validate the improvement on mode coverage, we further focus on minority inclusion. This is formulated by applying Imli reconstruction training only on minority subsets, while adversarial training still applies on the entire dataset. We briefly demonstrate our algorithm chart. More details are in the paper. Here we just highlight the different components of our efforts in the chart, including regular GAN training, Imli reconstruction training, the two harmonization strategies, as well as specification on minority inclusion. For preliminary validation, we first test the mode coverage on stacked MNIST dataset, which contains 1,000 explicit modes with uniform frequency. Compared to seven baselines, including the state-of-the-art StyleGAN2, our method achieves the largest number of mode activations, as well as the closest mode distribution to the uniform distribution. We further show a more comprehensive experiment on salivary phase dataset. FID and precision measure generation realism, recall and IVOM measure mode coverage, and the standard deviation of IVOM indicates the balance of GAN performance across different attributes. Compared to nine baselines which claim improved mode coverage, we show the overall advantages of our method across this wide range of performance metrics. The radar plot at the bottom right helps visualize the performance on our method where we achieve the near-top measures all around. For qualitative results, we demonstrate our random generation on the right to be realistic and diverse, while on the left we also achieve accurate reconstruction to real query images, for example for hat and eyeglasses attributes. We further adapt our solution to certain minority attributes. We demonstrate our improved minority realism and coverage on the left compared to StyleGAN2 baseline and to our general model, as well as the improved reconstruction iteration on the right. Here are some qualitative results on minority attribute reconstruction, including eyeglasses, bold, narrow eyes, and eye bags. Our results achieve the most visually accurate reconstruction to the real query images. One more set of reconstruction results interpolating from a majority query image to a minority. The minority images contain one of the four minority attributes. We show our minority inclusion results on the second last column, which approximate the minority attribute features the most accurately. Our code models and demos available online.